Good Garvey Day. It's another good morning for us to fight for African revolution. It's another happy morning for us to fight for African revolution. I want to give a shout out to all the elders. We respect the elders. I want to give a shout out to all the babies, especially the newborn babies. That's new ancestral energy coming into the world. All black parents of newborn African babies do a good job raising those children. Don't put them in front of the TV and do not give them a cell phone or a tablet. I said, do not put them in front of the television. Do not give them a cell phone or a tablet. It's Sunday, but it's work day for me. It's a Sunday, but it's work day for me because we got a school to finish up for black boys. It's Sunday, but it's a work day for me because we got a school to finish up for black boys. We're all my nappy head, natural African hair, black women. Where are all my queens at? The Ifa Tune Day natural head queens. Shout out to the natural head queens. Shout out to the natural head queens. And if you're not a natural head queen, I still love you. I'm just honoring those who have the power to be what God made them without any artificialities. If you're not a natural queen, I still love you. I'm just shouting out those who have the power, those African queens who have the power to be in their original God-given form. There's something about that original black woman. There's something about the black woman who can come outside with her own hair. There's something about the black woman who don't need blonde hair or dusty brown hair. There's something about the black woman who don't need a weave. There's something about the black woman who don't need a perm. There's something about the black woman who don't need fake eyelashes. There's something about that natural black woman that is so sexy. There's something about that natural black woman that is so attractive. Attractive. There's something about that natural black woman that just pulls you to her, a.k.a. melanin drip, a.k.a. melanin drip. 76 Guapo, you up out of here. Disrespectful comments, you'll never be on my page again the rest of your life. Show respect to the King Kong of consciousness. Show respect to the only black man building a relevant institution without white money and white support. Let's show respect. This is going to be a real brief message because I got work to do. This is going to be a real brief message, but I got work to do. My melanin is dripping real good today, ladies. What you think, ladies? I'm looking extra. I'm looking extra. I'm looking extra King Kong delicious today. What's going on, ladies? I normally don't look this good except in Leo season. I normally don't look this good except in Leo season. Look at the melanin drip. Look at the melanin drip. Woo! Look at that dark brown chestnut. Look at that Cameroonian dark cream. Look at that. Nigerian dark almond. Look, 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 look at the King Kong. Look at that light fudge. Look at the King Kong. I don't normally look this good outside of Leo season, but I must say, I'm a handsome man. I'm not being arrogant. The sun just came out. That's what I'm talking about. The sun, the sun just came out. Woo! FDMG. FDMG. Soon when I said melanin drip, the sun came out. I'm the son of the sun. I'm the S-O-N of the S-U-N. I said I'm the S-O-N of the S-U-N, but let me refocus. I want to talk to the brothers right now. Real rap. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Miss Lucy, don't say black men are broke. Broke according to whose description? Broke according to whose description? Black men are broke according to whose description? Black men are broke according to whose description? I want to talk to black men right now. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Have you made your monthly FDMG donation? Have you made your monthly FDMG donation? Hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Black men, Sunday is the sorriest day in the American African community for black men. Sunday is the sorriest day in the American African community for black men. Sunday is the sorriest day in the American African community for black men. And the reason Sunday is the sorriest day for the American African community for black men is although we, do, we have very few independent schools, real independent schools, not fake schools, but real independent schools. We have very few real independent schools. We have very few black hospitals. We have very blue, very few black banks. We have very few black supermarkets. We have very few black distribution and manufacturing sectors, despite all of that. Although we have very little infrastructure or poor infrastructure in the black community. 
Although we have very little infrastructure or very poor infrastructure in the black community, every Sunday, every Sunday for the next four months, every Sunday, black men are going to sit there politically lazy asses in front of the television from about noon to midnight. I said for the next four months, lazy ass black men, politically lazy. I didn't say you don't work. I'm talking about the community you belong to, Ninja. I'm talking about the community you belong to, Ninja. I'm talking about the community that you belong to, Ninja. Black men are going to sit our politically lazy, community disinterested asses. We're going to sit our politically lazy and community disinterested asses in front of the television from 12 noon to midnight. Helping the white man make money on his advertising by watching highly paid Negro slaves run up and down a football field. This is a disgrace. And I'm going to call it out whether you like it or not, because I'm King Kong consciousness. I'm RB Jesus. I'm intercontinental Ifa Tunde. I'm the prince of pan-Africanism. Look, we got Negroes making excuses. Black men have to rest. I don't see you resting when you out there chasing snow bunnies. I don't see you resting when you out there buying your weed. I don't see you resting when you out there chasing fat asses. I don't see you resting when you going on vacation. I don't see you resting when you flossing on a strip. I don't see you resting when you run into these white restaurants. But soon when it comes down to do something for your own people, you got to rest. Soon when it comes time for you to do something for your own people, you got to rest. I never heard the Mexicans say they got to rest all day Sunday watching football games. I never seen the Asians say they got to rest all day Sunday watching football games. I haven't seen the Arabs say they got to rest all day Sunday watching football games. I don't see European Jews say they got to rest all day Sunday watching football games. But soon when I talk about you doing something with your politically lazy asses, I'm talking to all black men. I'm talking to all black men. How can you be so comfortable sitting your ass in front of the TV? How can you be so comfortable sitting your ass in front of the TV and your community going to shit, but you want black women to see you as kings? Your community going to shit, but you want black women to worship you as a king. You sit your lazy ass in front of the TV from 12 to 12, and you want black women to treat you like a king when you ain't doing nothing for the hood. How we doing, king? I had to interrupt my previous message because we were blessed. The Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy was blessed. The Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey Academy was blessed with a donation of 25 primary grade school desks. So I had to jump off the live so we could put the 25 primary grade school desks inside FDMG. Who else got some second, third and fourth grade adjustable desks? with some second, third, and fourth grade chairs. All y'all working in the school district, where the donations at? This is the first furniture donation we have gotten. This is the first furniture donation we have gotten. This is the first furniture donation that we have gotten. Where the rest of the furniture donations at? Where the rest of the furniture donations at? Where the rest of the furniture donations at? But like I said, I meant what I said. But like I said, I meant what I said. Black men should be ashamed of ourselves. Black men should be ashamed of ourselves. Black men should be ashamed of ourselves. Out here watching TV when the community ain't got no institutions. Black men should be ashamed of ourselves out here watching TV when the community ain't got no jobs for our people. Black men should be ashamed of themselves out here watching TV when we ain't got no banks, hospitals, schools, and supermarkets. Why are we the only men so comfortable having fun when our community don't have shit? I said, why are we the only men so comfortable having fun 
when our community don't have shit. I said, why are we the only men out here having fun when our community don't have shit? You better respect this melanin right here. You better respect this melanin right here. You better respect this melanin right here. You better respect this melanin. We running around telling black women to treat us like kings. We running around telling black women to treat us like kings. We run around telling black women they need to worship us at our feet. Why you sit in your lazy ass home watching football games? Our boys running around killing each other. Our girls out here getting pregnant. We got homeless elders. We got a homeless single mothers. And you want to spend your whole weekend watching college football on Saturday and professional football on Sunday. We a disgrace to the race. We a disgrace to the race. Yeah, I said it. We a disgrace to the race. Stop worrying about my hair. I wear my hair like Frederick Douglass, my four times great grand cousin. Stop worrying about my hair. I wear my hair like Frederick Douglass, my four times great grand cousin. Stop worrying about my hair. I wear my hair like Frederick Douglass, my four times great grand cousin. Black men, we got to start showing and proving. I don't have time sitting around watching NFL all day, watching college football all day. I got institutions to build and solutions to implement with a real black man who's fighting for the community stand up with a real black man who doing something relevant for the black community stand on up i'm not even sure why you mentioning his name on my platforms i'm gonna block you for that because there's no need to even bring him up i do work not hustles for money not projects to get paid that's not what i do projects to make personal finance no 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 what I do is a sacrifice for the community. R.B. Jesus. Pastor R.B. Jesus. And you black women, y'all better stop with this feminism. You black sisters, y'all better stop with this feminism. You black women, y'all better stop with this feminism. Because if you notice, the white woman is running a scam on the black woman. The white woman is running a feminist scam on the black woman. I said the white woman is running a feminist scam on the black woman. I said the white woman is running a feminist scam. What do I mean? The white women talk feminism, but she go home to her husband every day. The white woman talk feminism, but she go home to her husband every day. Name one white man who was destroyed by feminism. Those white women talk that talk, but they don't destroy their men. The white woman tells the black woman the black man is no good. And the next day she bent over for the same black man she told you was no good. I'm going to say it again. The white woman told the black woman that the black man is no good. And the next day she bending over for the black man she told you was no good. I'm going to say it one more time. The white woman keep telling a black woman to be a feminist that the black man is no good. And the next day the same white woman who told you the black man is no good is bent over. Over giving that pink punani to your black man the next day she bent over giving that pink punani to your black man the next day she bent over giving that pink punani to your black man talk black to me black woman you letting a white woman turn you against your man you letting a white woman turn you against your man but you don't see her destroying her man the most she do is talk shit but she don't take no action against the white man the white woman will talk shit, but she don't take no action against the white man. The white woman will talk shit, but she don't take no action against the white man. She tell the black woman with your silly asses that the black man is no good. He's no good. He's your enemy. He's your problem. And right after she turns you against the black man, she got that pink punani bent over, flat ass up in the air, giving him those flat, uncooked Cinnabons. Oh, yes. The white woman and ran a scam on a black woman and you sisters ain't woke up yet. The white woman ran a scam on you black women and you ain't woke up yet. How you going to make her turn you against the black man and all she do is take your man. The same man she told you was no good. She up there baking those white, white ice cookies for him. That pink punani be right up in the air with that flat ass of hers. Giving your man the business. She told you to leave a black man alone though. She told you to leave a black man alone, though. She told you to leave a black man alone. Why she ain't left him alone, please? You know why she going for the black man? Because the white man ain't having that. The white man ain't having that. If you notice, the white woman don't destroy the white man. She only talks shit to the white man. She never undermines his agenda. 
because she knows she only go as far as the white man go. The white woman never undermines the white man. She talk that shit. She might fight with him, but she never undermines his power because she knows she only go as far as the white man going to go. She got you black sisters effed up. She got you black sisters effed up. She got you black sisters effed up out here turning on your man. And then he turned to the white woman. You turn away from him so she can turn towards him, black woman. You turn away from him so she can turn towards him, black woman. You turn away from him so she can turn towards him. Y'all better wake up and smell the coffee. Y'all better wake up and smell the coffee. This is your big brother, King Kong Consciousness, live from your school, my school, our school, the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for Pan-African Excellence. And I'm laying down the law today to black men and black women. I'm laying down the law today to black men and black women. I'm laying down the law today to black men and black women. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. King Kong delicious. King Kong delicious. Pastor R.B. Jesus, notorious R.B.G. My melanin is dripping today. Lord have mercy, I look good. I look damn good today, ladies. Woo! Woo! I look damn good today. Run them Cinnabons. I'm just joking. Revolution over romance. Politics over Punani. Liberation over lovemaking. I love my sisters. I love them. Butter almond and butter pecan. I like them sweet brown sugar, warm vanilla, hot apple spice, that chocolate fudge, that dark chestnut. Oh, yes. That sweet brown sugar, that nutmeg. Oh, yes. Those pistachio color queens. Oh, yes. African vanilla. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Stop asking me about Israel. I'm a black man. I'm concerned about black people's problems. That's not my problem. I'm not an Arab and I'm not an untouchable. I'm not an Arab and I'm not an untouchable. Don't ask me about them people. Them people don't give a damn about black people. Neither side. I ain't got no, I ain't got no stakes in that war. I'm an African. I ain't got no stakes in that war. Neither side of them care about us. Neither side of them care about us. Don't ask me about that. I'm dealing with the RBG. This is RB Jesus, and I'm only dealing with RBG. If it's not RBG, don't bring it to RB Jesus. You understand me? That's none of my business. I don't want nobody to get hurt. I don't want no lives to be lost, no matter what the color or the race. But don't, don't distract me from my agenda to worry about somebody else. I'm not a multiculturalist like you. I am not a multiculturalist like you. I am not a multiculturalist like you. Okay? I am not a colorblind Negro like you. I'm not that. That is not me. I represent the greatest of Garveyism. I represent the greatest of Garveyism. I represent the elite standard of the revolutionary pan-African nationalist movement. I represent the epitome of African world nationalism. Don't ask me about either side. Neither side gives a damn about Africa or African people. Learn how to mind your business. That's what's wrong with black people. We can worry about everybody else, but we can't worry about ourselves. We can worry about everybody else, but we can't worry about ourselves. If you need to reach me by text message 215-989-9858, hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school, hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Make sure you subscribe to www.drumar.tv. We spell Africa with a K, all Pan-Africanists, all revolutionary Pan-African nationalists. We spell Africa with a K so you know who you're talking to. We spell Africa with a K so you know who you're hearing from. We spell Africa with a K so you know when the Pan-Africanists talk, when the revolutionary Pan-Africanists talk, you know you're talking to us. So we spell Africa with a K. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Africa will be free. And all of us scattered black children across the diaspora will be free. I said the mother continent of Africa will be free. And all of us scattered black children across the diaspora will be free. I'm not slowing down Owani sessions. I'm not slowing down African lemonade, sister. I'm not slowing down. We ain't got time to slow down. 
Turn off the damn television and go work with some children today. Turn off the damn television and go paint for some elders today. Turn off the damn television and go shopping for some elders today. Turn off the television and spend some time with your children today. Turn off the television and organize today. Turn off the damn NFL. That ain't nothing but Negroes for lease. Negroes for lease. NFL. Negroes for lease. That's all that is. Turn it the hell off. Where my Burundi Africans at? Where my Burundi Africans at? Where my Botswana Africans at? Where my Ghanaian Africans at? Where my Nigerian Africans at? Where my Liberian Africans at? Where my Cote d'Ivoire Africans at? Where my Cameroonian Africans at? Where my Congolese Africans at? Where my Malawi Africans at? Where my Kenya Africans at? Where my Somali Africans at? Where my New York Africans? Where my Texas Africans? Where my PA Africans? Where my Jersey Africans? Where my Minnesota, Detroit, Chicago Africans? Where my Oakland Africans? My Seattle Africans? Peace, black man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All is well. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. I said NFL is Negroes for lease. You heard what the hell I said. Every contract is a lease. That's a damn lease contract. They own you. Every NBA contract is a lease contract. They own you. That's right. This ain't nothing but convict leasing. The NFL and NBA is high-level convict leasing. Damn, I look good today. What's going on with my skin? Is the ancestors? I must be going to another level of spirit. I don't, I don't. I, I look extra handsome this morning. I don't know what it is, but I look extra handsome. But let me stay focused. Ladies, it's consciousness over the cookies. It's politics over the punani. It's revolution over the romance. It's institution before intimacy. Is business before the bedroom.